Hello everyone and uh, yeah many thanks for zooming in um, or looking at Facebook for uh, yeah a new show of the said or not or more be better said um, a showcase of uh, a f improvised film noir so everything what you are going to see is uh, completely improvised based on a suggestion and uh, we have five amazing players um, who are going to do that for you uh, and the first one is Tanina so Tanina if you can join us hi um, Stacy hey. uh, Kristen hi Kristen uh, Dume hi Dume and uh, Manasi <laughs> okay so i think we basically spread across three continents yeah from the um, usa to europe to india so that is awesome i really love that so uh before we start we need a suggestion um and that will come again from our magical hat which we usually have but this time this time it's filled with locations in chicago yeah, because we are going to play, um, for those who haven't seen it before, uh, something in the 1940s, 1950s. Hence the black and white and the grey filter in Zoom. Um, and we are going to play in an urban location. Um, and you will see probably a little bit of troubled characters. Yeah, um, They always said that whichever way you turn, fate sticks out a foot to trip you. Um, that we might see today. So, okay, enough said. Let's pick a location. Okay, this uh, location in Chicago is the City Hall. The City Hall. And um, have fun. City Hall. I can't believe I'm gonna help my father win the campaign today. Oh, Alice, you come to help us. Yes. Yes, Rose. I have to come. Well, my father's gonna be so happy that I'm getting help on this campaign. It's running me raggeds all night. <sighs> Yeah, and I'm, I'm so, so proud of you, Rose, that you could think of, you know, helping so many unprivileged people by doing this work, by just, you know, standing up for them. And I'm just so happy of, for you. Well, this is the way up in the world, Alice. I mean, you work for a campaign and then maybe next step you'll be governor someday too. I agree. <laughs> and, you know, I always knew, as, as I saw you young, when you would just come with your dad holding his fingers, and you would run around asking for, if I can do this work, or if I can help you in, you know, even accounts, I knew you had something in you. You had that charisma that would attract people and would work for them. I'm so, so... I, I can see that now developing roles as you're grown young. Well, it's going to be a hard race for my dad, and I'm really worried about him. I mean, some people don't like his politics. I know he wants to help the poor around town, but some of the rich people don't like the tax breaks. Yeah, I know. And yeah. that to help people like you, ordinary people. That's why I wanted to hire you. You would just know what people feel i'm i don't know what people feel like i live in a mansion but i know you do yeah rose uh, i really never wanted to share this but i have something to share with you and and i want you to just take this not black and white but try to understand yeah how well your dad may be, how popular he may be in outside world, 
but he has some dark secrets and i certainly know some of them i just want you to not go into those areas and just grow independently well i know my dad he never tells me everything and sometimes at night he comes in with some suspicious characters i mean not people that we know they're, they're kind of dark and shady and but i love my dad yeah i know <laughs> that's why i never wanted to come here in front of you i never wanted to share this uh, maybe i said too much maybe i i was part of that truth of his life i i should not be speaking more about it but i really want you to carry on with your campaign and i will yeah. work the back end signs we got to post these up sure i will help you for this yeah Oh, the crowds are starting to come in. We better set up before uh, they all come in. I oh. will. I will. I will just clean up all the area, and uh, I, I hope you will be able to hold them up. I don't want to come in front. I don't want to actually, uh, you know, answer anything or be in front. Oh, well, I, I know that you're helping me. I, I know this will work out. I will. I will just just figure out everything at the back end. There is a lot of work inside the room, and I will take care of that. Yeah. Yeah, I love my dad. I just want to do everything to please him. How else am I going to get his fortune? But sometimes there's some strangers lurking in the dark. Night when I was sleeping the other day, I got woken up by a gunshot. And, you know, I haven't seen my mom in a long time. Just with him, just the two of us. He told me he wanted us to take over the family business. That's what I'm doing. And the first chance I get, I don't know if I want to be here. I have better places to be. Just want to be a normal person. Maybe work at a diner. I don't want anybody to know me. It, I'm a nice person, and my dad isn't. So I'm gonna keep working on this campaign till I find another job. I I wish I could be somewhere else. Hello. Oh, this is such a lovely diner here. I'm so glad nice. you like it. You know, um, I know you. Your father uh, comes in here quite often. Yeah, I like to come here and relax and just get a piece of pie. So, you no, know, I could uh, use a girl like you um, working for me. I need a girl with good connections. Oh, connections, that's all people want of me. I just want to blend them to the scenery. Well, you could make a real name for yourself here, you know? Get to know the right people, become your own woman. Oh, well, if I become my own woman, maybe I can own a diner one day. That sounds right. like a lot of fun. I would love to be here. Wonderful. I always enjoy my time here. I always, my dad always used to take me here and he'd always give me an ice cream soda. Oh, I love this place. I love the pie happy to hear that. and the burgers. Oh, if, if I'm here, I don't have to be with my dad. Maybe I'll stay here for a while. Yeah. Oh, and can you tell me your name? I'm Miss May. Oh, Miss I'm May. I'm Miss May. This is my diner, Miss oh. May's diner. <clears throat> Well, my name is Rose, but now I'm in the diner, you can call me Rosie. So set me out to work and I'll start. Great. I, I have some very unusual tasks for you to do. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy, but um, 
I'd like for you to take this bag, if you don't mind, to a friend of mine, um, a gentleman friend. Uh, all you have to do is bring it right over until he'll, he'll give you maybe a little letter to bring back to me. Can you do that? Oh, sure. That's so simple. Wonderful. I'll, um, I'll introduce you to a girl who can help you. Oh. Oh, this is a very heavy package. I bet it's some pie. Oh, I love the pie here. Oh, it doesn't smell like pie. Oh, this side. Put it in my car. <clears throat> Maxine, Maxine. Um. Oh, listen. Rosie's acting up again. She's she's going through that whole thing. She's gonna she's gonna screw up my campaign. Uh, I mean, she's a teenager, right? What do you expect from teenagers? I, I I mean, I've seen her grow, and she was always so active. You really think she's gonna just follow your line? Maxine, you gotta get her to keep her mouth closed. So the campaign is over. I guess she's still loyal to you. I don't know. She, I'm pretty sure she hasn't seen anything going behind the scenes, I hope. Not for me, unless she's been, unless you've been talking to her. Of course not. I'm, I'm not, I'm not involved with any of that. I'm just running your campaign, you know, following the orders, keeping things in order. Which is quite complicated, I must say. <gasps> know what she's doing? She's trying to get a job <laughs> at a diner. A girl never worked in her entire life, and she's gonna get a job at a diner? <laughs> I'm running for governor, and she wants to work in a diner. But that's good, because I think your main point is that you want to support the poor, right? So? You can actually make use of it, right? The whole campaign, it's not about the poor. It's about tax breaks for the rich. Come on, Maxine, get on board. I know, I know, but how are you gonna sell it, right? I mean, if you imagine your daughter on the front pages of all the newspapers working in a diner, helping the poor, I think that might work. Think about it. Well, I think you ought to think about it, getting her out of the diner. Go in there and get her out. I don't care how you do it, get her out. Yes, sir. So you finished the air? That's great. I have to talk to you, though. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, I know. It's, I burnt the pie. Well, it's not about the pie, though I did notice that. It's, um, it's rather more mysterious, I'm afraid. You see, it turns out that that package I gave you to deliver was full of drugs, and I happened to have photos of you carrying it to a known drug lord and accepting an envelope full of cash in exchange. Could be very bad for your father. Oh, my father knew he would be very furious. Well, well you give me enough I, profit for it, I, I would continue to do it. If you do something for me, I will do something for you. What did you have in mind? Well, I just need a place to hide out for a little bit. I don't want to continue doing my dad's campaign. It's such a bore. I, I'd rather not work for him. He gets very temperamental sometimes, and I like being here. So I'll continue to ship your packages as long as you let me be quiet and, 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 and nobody tell anybody I'm here. Well, girl, if you prefer to sleep in the lion's den, I'm happy to have you. Just be sure you take care of yourself. Cause this is a uh, this is a dangerous place. 
Oh, danger, I'm familiar with danger. I have to deal with my father's angry temper. That's danger enough for me. I've got the criteria to do this. If so, you cross me, though, if you cross me, I'll publish those photos I have, and it will destroy your father's campaign, so... Oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? I would absolutely do that. Miss May will do anything it takes to be on top. Well, Miss I can assure you that I can get bad drugs to the to the source. I know just about everybody around here. But you've got a promise to make sure I'm taken care of. I do, as long as you take care of me. Well, I'm off. Going on to the next job. This way, do you have that amazing coffee that you serve here? Mm, I know exactly the one you're talking about. Thank you. I, I just need it. It's been a horrible day, I tell you. It's, oh my God. Oh, you can tell Miss May all about it. Here you go, an apple cobbler. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I've seen you before. You look familiar. Yeah, probably somewhere on the streets we are like running this huge campaign at the moment and i <sighs> that's what i thought so you work for the would-be governor mm -hmm. right would be or would not be <laughs> <laughs> no working for a man like that must be very stressful I forgot my okay that's not matter. oh i have a letter Do you oh thanks there you are mm -hmm. To grab myself, really. Working for a man like that must be very, very stressful. I happen to know him. You do? He's very stubborn. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's lovers. Is long ago. Yeah. Long ago. Oh. And he left me behind. I vowed, though, I would never let a man like that control me again. Now I work for myself. Hmm, that's a step up. Hmm. I actually have his daughter working for me. I've heard of it. <laughs> Very I'm, helpful. I mean, honestly, let me be just clear here. So, um, from what I understand, your business is thriving, right? Yes. And, I mean, for a diner like this one, I think the our degree of success is a bit questionable but i'm not gonna ask any questions of course it's just that i need to make sure that his daughter is not involved in anything dangerous you know? well i couldn't assure you that not at all she's a bright girl and very ambitious you know miss day that you're not talking to a very powerful person who has even more you know you're talking to a very powerful person. I've made many friends over the years. So did I. We'll see whose friends are better friends. Nice coffee, Miss Me. Thank you. Okay, well, I, what have you got? I need, I need to know, what do you got on Rosie? I just fear to tell you, Mr. Mr. Rosen, that Rosie knows a lot about you now. And she is just not ready to, you know, face that. She probably was never ready. And now, she is working with some other lady outside. Uh, I got to know that it's some Miss May. And I fear that she won't stop there. And Rosie may get into bigger troubles now. Okay, Nikki, Nikki, you're a really good detective. 
I pay you well. I need to know more. What is, I need to know about this big trouble. Everyone's talking about the big trouble Rosie is in. Look, she has been photographed to go and parcel some packet. And she does not even know what was in there. Oh. Your very innocent daughter thinks that everything is just nice and good and friendly, but no, it was drugs. So you just have to be even more careful now. You've got to get those photographs. I will try, but... I'll pay double. I will pay double for those photographs. Okay. Previously, you did promise few things of getting me my private agency and maybe, you know, giving me my proper branding, doing proper branding for me, but that never happened. You get those pictures, you'll get your agency, and you'll get your branding but get those pictures. All right, I take your word this time. Sure. Here you go. <sighs> dear, dear, how come, tell me, you're a grown-up girl with a good education, and now you're in such trouble. Really? Oh, you're my good friend. I, I know that when I'm in trouble, you're the one that always helps me out, Maxine. I don't know what to do. I talked to your new boss, or however you call her, and you know she's a known person in town, right? She's running the business with the parcels, and you're apparently delivering those. Well, everybody's running some business around town, but it's a nice, quiet place. Nobody ever comes any there. My father, he's got me working so hard, always having to please people. I'm really sick of being there. I know you're my friend, Maxine. You know, I would just do just about anything to not be with my father. Oh, so nice to be out in the park today. Look at those pigeons. We're just pigeons to him. Do you remember when you were young? I think you were around, I don't know, 12 or so. Your father took you on the street downtown and he showed you where he grew up. Do you remember that flat? It was yeah. a small, shitty flat. And you know how you grew up, right? It's almost a castle. He's done it for you. He's invested in you. He gave you education. He gave you all the clothes. He gave you everything. Have possibly even, right? Well, it's not everything to ev everything. It's almost very scary to have everything. I mean, people want things from you. They'll I don't feel safe and I don't trust people so much. Nobody does in this world. And you decided to trust this miss? Do you, she, she probably has something that would compromise you, right? Because actually she doesn't want to get this slow pass. She is one of the richest. So I don't know, you need to deal somehow with that because I was trying to confront her, but I think she's very powerful and she doesn't trust me anymore. She wouldn't trust your father. She wouldn't trust anyone in his surrounding, but she does trust you because she thinks you cannot think for yourself properly. And here's your chance. You need to get those photos, whatever it takes, whatever she has on you, you need to get it and run away. And then we can cover that. Oh, gonna need your help. She'll never buy it that I'm gonna steal her photos. I'm gonna have to break into her apartment. That's where she has them. Okay. Maxine, do you know how to break into someone's apartment? I know you're used to breaking things in college, you used to break into the dorm, so like. 
All right. On gone. <laughs> Thank you so go. much. I, I think she has the photo. Once I have those photos, she'll never mess with me. In fact, I think I'll take over her restaurant and call it Rosie's. Just you wait. Oh. You need a good talk with your father. But I, I, did, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I mean, you need to know where she's out, when she's out, and we, we should just go there, right? Well, I'll find out tonight when she's out, and then I'll call you up and we'll head over there. I mean, I heard she had a date tonight. Ooh. She's got me having her apartment empty, so I think it's the time to have a little fun and get those pictures. So I'll see you tonight. I'm going to quit this job. Yeah, operator, give me green 4325. Miss Rose, Miss Rose Rosenberg, please. Come on. Hello, Daddy. Yeah. Rose, it's your father. Oh, Daddy, I'm just busy with school. Haven't Rose, I know what you've been busy with. Don't lie to your father. Oh, I'm just taking care of things, you know? That's what you do when you're in college. You learn new things, and I decided to get a job. I don't want to be always hanging on you, Daddy. I just I want to be able to make my own money. Rose, I know about the diner, okay? You got to stop working at the diner. But I love working at the diner. You know, Miss May said if I stay long enough, then, then maybe I can have my own restaurant. Wouldn't you like Ms. that, Daddy? Miss May is a dangerous woman. You oh. need to get away from her. She's she is no good. Oh. But Do I, you hear me? Oh, I'll be fine. I can always handle you very too much, Dad. I can handle anything. I work for you. I can handle anything, especially a diner. Not this time, Rose. You're in over your head. Trust me and get out of it. Oh, it'll all be solved tonight. I'm, I'm taking care of everything. It better be taken care of tonight. Tonight, uh, Rose. Tonight, I'll be there. I'll be there for dinner tonight, and everything. A uh, late night. I'll be. I'll be home. I'll be there at ten. Okay. I. I will be there. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Vaccine. Yes. Get in here. <sighs> okay. I I need to tell you. So all those stories about me being young and <laughs> courageous are wrong. I I've never done it in my life. And yeah. Okay. Uh. So. Yes, don't don't feed on me. <laughs> I mean, if something goes wrong. You're gonna help me because I'm. I'm freaking out now. <sighs> Just breathe deeply. Why nobody's around? Yeah. Okay. I am here. You've never been in trouble, young lady, right? I can clearly see that. Okay. Uh, so I'm we should never get in trouble. What if she comes back? I can't think about these things. Do you have a backup plan? Oh, plan B never works. I Once it pictures, I'll just, I'll take them and then I'll blackmail her. Mm-hmm. You first need to find them. And for the plan C, I have a gun, but. Oh, a gun? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get that far. Mm, I don't think so. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at that picture over there. 
looks oh. like that. <gasps> what? Hello. <laughs> so, both of you, it's interesting to see you in here. Rose, were you looking for this? Look carefully. We found a picture. I was trying to find the picture that she was trying to blackmail me with, but then I found this picture of her and my dad. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be somewhere else, and you have come finding this here. I don't know which kind of relationship. <laughs> did they have but I, I i really don't like it and i think i haven't signed up for it and i also i wasn't paid for it which is a very important part yeah maxi i know that you have been paid well by the dad but here my dear rosie you are in big trouble and i beg to say that it's not easy to come out of it and since all the pictures just not one I have many more evidences, which I am packing up in my bag. I'm sorry, Alice, aren't you supposed to work for her dad? You the dad is always smart, you see. He told me to work, but that smart as thinks that he will trick me again. Last time he tried making me work and never worked for me and he never supported me. So this time, I would say that if Rose accepts it to work and tell the dad that he has to create an office for me, maybe I think of giving these photographs back. Oh, I'm sure daddy will give you an office. But this picture with Miss May, I don't know how I'm going to get this out of my mind. She's been sleeping with my dad. Maxine, oh, I'm going to have to stay with you for tonight. I'm not going to be able to face my dad. It's oh. very sick. I don't know what to say. I I am so, so confused now. So I, I think we, so I can arrange an office for you. I, I really can, Alice. It's it's not a big deal, I guess. Especially that I'm I'm gonna quit soon. I'm pretty sure. But we really need to do something about Miss May because apparently she has a history. <laughs> she has, and the history. Is, yeah, and it's all connected. So as Rose, you just saw that, and you have witnessed it with my own eyes. I think it's a bigger reason for you to hold this against your dad and take an independent decision that you want to be with Miss May or with your dad now. Can I get how can I choose? They're both bad choices. I don't know what to do. That's what life is. I, I think of a crime. I think it's you to decide, right? So, okay, Alice, I, I guess the office is yours. You earned it. <laughs> Congrats. All right. That's good to know. I'm and... going to leave this place because I'm afraid that the rightful owner, owner can actually come back and I don't want to be on her way. Okay. And Rose, uh, I think you must go back to Miss May. I will get these photographs onto her and you will have them with you am i going to be alone do i have a cop to watch me yeah Very different situation someone will will secretly follow you you know i really don't want people to know that you're being followed but there will be a person to protect you i can guarantee that you private dicks are amazing you just work for whoever pays you more i quit Oops. Well, I'll meet you at the diner. Kind of you to make it. 
I took a big risk in coming here. Oh, you've taken bigger risks before, and you'll take them again, I'm sure. May you're causing too much trouble. I'm not causing nearly enough trouble, in my opinion. That daughter- I'm warning you, May. She causes her own trouble, really. I'm just giving her an outlet. You knew what you were doing when you sent her that out with that package. Of course. You I did that. Yes, I did. I knew exactly what I was doing and I would do it again and I have done it again. She I'm warning knew. you. You know, she knew. I told her after the first time what was in these packages and she kept on going. You know why? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're she's just young stupid. and she's young and she's stupid and you're taking advantage of her and I don't like it. The way you took advantage of me when I was young and stupid? Hmm? Took the best well, years of my life and then left me used up and, and sad and alone. Yeah. Well, you're all grown up now. So start playing. Play it like you're a big girl. I am playing like I'm a big girl. And I'm gonna show your daughter what it means to be a big girl. I warn you, you get away from her and you keep, I, I, I warn you, you will regret it. No, oh, we'll see who regrets what. Yeah, we'll see. I'm waiting here, Miss Rose. I decide whether I should be with my dad or her, but I think that she's going to lead me to something very bad, and my dad loves me. I'm going to have to tell her. Wow. Well, hello, Rosie. Miss May, I think there's something you have to tell me. I have to tell you? Yes. A little bit of information that you didn't tell me. Someone that you might know that we both know that are very- your father. Yes, I know your father. Did you know that we were lovers before you came along? Well, I obviously found out. I saw obviously a photo of you in- Oh, there's a photo you, of you. Were you in my apartment, dear? Well, someone- has been there and they told me they saw a photo and now I have it. So I want you to stay away from my daddy. <laughs> or what? Well, I'm taken care of. If you try anything, there's people that'll have a way with you. I am wealthy, you know. Sweetheart, so am I. You're gonna have to do better than that. Well, you don't believe me. I don't, you just, <gasps> you wouldn't dare. You don't have the guts. You're just a little girl. Little girl? I'm used to playing with guns. Are you? Now I want you to confess to the police that you set me up. No. Where's the police? They should be here any moment. Seems like quite a conundrum for you. You're holding me at gunpoint, not vice versa. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, oh, oh. I killed her. I can't believe I killed her. Cops, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't mean it. Okay. You called the game? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. oh I, I that down, and there's the, the, the body is fallen down, and, and she, the person is killed. She tried to kill me. Yeah, I have a self defense, I promise. Okay, okay, so I, I see, lady. Oh, I know you. You're, your father is running a campaign. That's gonna be the news. Yeah. Huh. And also, uh, just note that this girl was was staying here for past one week, and I've seen her just just you know creepy, crawly, 
running out in the night, midst of the night, doing all rubbish stuff. So the movements have not been very good and nice and clean. Noted. Thank you, young lady. You're working for the society. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to take me out of jail, are you? My father, he won't be happy. I am certain of that. But you, young lady, you should come with me. I'm very sorry. I will go away. I don't want to get messed up in this. Prison matron? Have you heard my father yet? Hello? Somebody there? Oh. You know, if daddy comes, he's gonna get me out. I hope he gets me out. Waiting. Dad? Please come and get me. stayed with you. I was better off. I just want to go home. I miss home now. I have to wait for your call. Prison maiden? Somebody? Somebody get my dad! Daddy! Scene. Okay, you can all come back. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Such a tragic story at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tanina, we will see if your father will come or not. We will never know. <laughs> so, so many thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, yeah, we hope you have enjoyed the show and as a treat. Next week, we will do another one, uh, again, same time, uh, on Friday. And uh, we are going to bring a different uh, long form in a film noir setting in a different location. So many thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, we we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.